What's up, Bodoers, and welcome back. Today, we're going to explore another one of my favorite apps, Time Off. Employees deserve their well-earned time off, and taking time off helps our team stay healthy and happy. So, how does it work? Time off types are created, like vacation time or sick time, then time off is given or allocated to employees. Once they have the time allocated to them, they can request time off and get some well-deserved rest. So, let's see how to navigate our time off app and take some much-needed R&R. Let's hop into our database. Here I am on my time off dashboard, which shows a counter view of my schedule. The days in gray are our non-working days. And at the top of the page, there's a helpful summary of my available time off. As you can see, this is my current remaining amount of time for vacation time and my current amount of sick time off. At the bottom of these sections, if there's an expiration date for the time off, it'll appear right here. And if I click this question mark that appears under sick time off, I see a detailed hours available summary of this time off type with my allocation, accrual, approved, plan, and available time off. I can also see how much time off I'll have in the future if I change this date above the pending request. So let's change this date to January 1st of next year. And just like that, I can see how much vacation time I'll have on that day in the future. I can also see if I have any pending allocation requests right here. And if I need to take more time off, I can make a new allocation request by clicking new allocation request. Now let's say I need some days off for a family vacation. So let's ask for some more time by entering five days in the allocation field. And I'll type in family cruise as the reason for this vacation. Hopefully this gets approved. So let's save and close it. Now, on the right side is a legend showing the different types of time off as well as their colors as well as their approval statuses. As we can see, a solid color means that the time off is approved, a striped color means that it's waiting to be approved, and the strike through line means that the time off was refused. These pink days shown on the calendar represent the vacation days I took for my cruise to the Bahamas. These yellow days right here represent the sick days I was at home for in February. And unfortunately, as we can see in January, my unpaid time off request was denied. We can also see the mandatory days, meaning days we can't request off. For example, April 8th. I configured them to appear red on the calendar so they stand out a bit. And last, we can see all the different configured public holidays we get off here on the legend. Oh, I just remembered I need to request time off for my grandmother's 100th birthday. To do that, all I'll have to do is click new in the dashboard menu. And when I do that, a time off pop-up form appears. The default time off is correct in this case, which is vacation time. Now I just need to enter the day I need off, which is December 6th. And as I did, I'll select December 6th twice to make it a single day. Then I'll add a description like Granny's 100th B-Day Bash. And that's it. I'll just click Save and Close. If I scroll down, I can see it in our calendar for December, and I can see that it's striped because it's waiting for approval. If I want to see a more detailed list view of all my time off requests, I can go to my time off dashboard by clicking on my time and then my time off. From here, I can expand any month to view all the records for that month. For example, here's December and October. Here's my new request that's waiting for approval, as well as my two requests in October that were approved. If I wanna check on the status of my allocations, including any requests I made, I can go to the My Allocations page by clicking My Time Off once again, but this time clicking on My Allocations. On this page, I can see the time off total that's been allocated to me by my manager, as well as the status of each one, which is color-coded on the right. Remember how I requested five more days earlier? Here's that request. We requested this allocation from the dashboard, but I can also request a new allocation with this new button right here. And that does it for this initial time off tutorial. Tune into our other tutorials where we dive into everything from creating time off types, managing requests, 
making accrual plans, and so much more. Till next time, Odoers, right now I gotta hop on a plane and get some sunshine.